What is up my dudes, cheap bastard talking to ya. And in today's video I will be testing this Intel confidential CPU which turned out to be a normal i5-8500. How is this possible? No idea. I did google this CPU's model but it doesn't show anything specific which means that this exact CPU is probably the final engineering sample before launch, I guess? Anyways, take a look at its specs. Take me to your Xbox to play Fortnite today. You and my test system specs. Before we fly out to the benchmarking heavens. And the first game tested today was Valorant, and both on 1080p Ultra and 1440p Ultra, it performed better than Ryzen 5 2600 and GTX 1070 combo. In Cyberpunk 2077, I was riding on the scar's roof just like my neighbor's dog. Sadly, I was heavily bottlenecked by the GPU on 1080p low settings, but that's literally the best GPU I have at the moment. Jumping over to Rainbow Six Siege and benchmarking it made me happy. <sighs> Maybe just a little. Happy. On 1080p Ultra I got these, and on 1440p Ultra I got these benchmark results. And the footage you see here was taken using 1440p high settings. And don't forget that all of these benchmarks are bottlenecked by RX 580. Insane. On CSGO I was kindly asked to drop my teammate the Deagle. Please, give me drop Deagle, please, Deagle. Thanks. And after that I did some benchmarks on 1080p and 1440p ultra settings which were good but GPU bottlenecked and on 1080p low the CPU's performance was outstanding. On Apex Legends I was once again bottlenecked by this RX 580 although it didn't stop me from getting these benchmark results on 1080p high settings. And before I test Fortnite I have to do the real gamers warm up. <sighs> Let's go! Stop it! Twist it, pull it, shout it. And after that, I got these benchmark results on 1080p high. And despite my horse acting super weird on Red Dead Redemption 2, bro, she made brains. I got these really amazing benchmark results on 1080p low preset. Man, I always fail communicating with people on GTA 5. Hey, y'all know where I can change my clothes at, bro? Although I didn't fail to borrow this totally not a Mercedes G-Wagon and get these benchmark results on 1080p highest settings. In Call of Duty Warzone I was escorted straight to the battlefield. And while I was in there, I got these really impressive results on 1080p low settings and this super weird kill assist. On Need for Speed Heat, my car got a slight scratch. And I got these benchmark results on 1080p high settings. To conclude, I am a bit sad that I didn't have anything more powerful on the graphics side, but because I didn't expect this kind of performance from this i5, and I didn't expect this processor to even be i5 in the first place, I can only leave a 5 star review on this thing. It even managed to get more FPS in some games being paired with this RX 580 than Ryzen 5 2600 and GTX 1070 combo which is really amazing subscribe to start levitating and don't forget to stay cheap my dudes cheap bastard out i, I look like i've been not there not that you've been knocked out but you you're, you just don't see okay well little, little oil spill there hiccups